I don't know what's going on with this plate. Look at those bolts. So I'm just gonna cover it. Here's what I got. This is Rustoleum truck bed pro grade um, in black. So it says fade and abrasion resistant, durable non-skid finish, and it says paint and primer in one. Um, I haven't tried this one in particular. I've tried the other one, uh, the red one, and um, it seems to be all right. I haven't tried this one, so we're gonna go ahead and try it here on the front and rear bumpers on the truck. Hopefully everything comes out right. Uh, and yeah, the reason I didn't want to do any like uh, brush or roller, uh, I didn't want any drips or brush strokes. So instead we're doing spray can. So I already prepped this up. Just gonna give it a wipe. I'm gonna set you guys in a tripod and let's go ahead and start spraying this little bed coating. Alright guys, here's the uh, front bumper. I actually sprayed both cans here on the front bumper. I thought I was gonna have enough to paint the rear, but I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more. Uh, these cans are about $11 each. I used two right here, um, but 
it actually looks really nice like over here this is the side that i started off and you see how it's it's already it's already dry-ish you know it has a little bit of a uh, surface texture um and it looks really good i didn't do like a great job at sanding uh so this you know it works pretty good it feels pretty pretty good on the on the paint so yep this side is already dry over here uh this is where i just left off so it's still drying but oops there's a spot right there but yeah i'm still gonna have to buy another can uh for the back bumper that way i can um have both of them matching uh, speaking of matching the actual shine the sheen that it gives out it sort of matches right here on the fender flares and i guess the mirrors right here it's black but not glossy but it's just matte so pretty cool so there's the bumper Alright guys, so I'm going to go get one more of these cans, that way I can finish up the back bumper, and then we'll continue. What are those? Alright guys, so we're back in the store, um, brought two more cans of the bed coating, the pro grade. Uh, here are the other two cans that I used on the front bumper, so we're going to use these just to touch up and to paint the back bumper as well. In the meantime, the bumper on the front just dried up just a little bit more and looking good. Really nice, solid color, really uniform. It looks awesome. So, yep, so we're gonna go ahead and um, just jump over to the back bumper. It's already taped and everything, so let's just go ahead and just wipe it down and just paint it.
Here's the rear bumper. I did two heavy coats on this one and uh, everything's solid now. There's no heavy wet spots here. Uh, so everything's drying pretty uniform. Um, so the metal here, it is rusted, it is pitted, but I did uh, clean it with the sandpaper. I sanded it down and I wiped it with the grease remover uh, before I threw this paint. So I used about a can and a half on this one to do the two coats and the rest of the other half a can. I brought it back over here to the front and I did some touches, touch ups on some places that still needed some paint. I did the underside of these tubes right here, all of them on both sides, and I did the front face. Uh, just another coat, real quick. So everything's drying uniform, looking really good. So yeah, that's the um, truck coating, the Pro Grade. It's about $11 a can, and it looks pretty good. I like it. All right guys, so that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, painting the front bumpers, the front and rear bumpers. Uh, if you guys have already tried this one, let me know. What did you paint? How did it turn out? Uh, I like it. I mean, something you can find uh, real quick at Walmart. $11 a can. Uh, it does take some materials, so I use four cans total at $11 plus tax. It's about $50 for the front and back bumpers, uh, but they do look really nice. And it finishes the truck, so it's something that I had to do. I decided to use the spray cans, and it looks good. It looks good. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna stay here a little longer. Uh, I right now I actually have the grill removed you know to paint right here in front but I have the grill removed so on one of my previous videos I asked you guys whether I should keep it chrome or uh, color match it you know that gunmetal gray uh, so I'm gonna work on that video thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next one that's it peace out